this is what I'm doing all day today and yesterday. So let me just show you what happened. I decluttered a ton when I was doing the decluttering before, but paper goods has been a struggle for me. I'm a paper hoarder. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but before we were working for ourselves, I was a controller for a construction company for over a decade and one for a company before that. So I'm all about paperwork and keeping records and files. And I can't tell you how handy it's been to have things when I've needed audits and had audits and all kinds of things. If I needed them, I always was really, really anal and kept everything. And it was very orderly. And I'm the same way at home, but I really don't think I need all this paperwork. I mean, it's just adding up. I've been wanting to put it in the attic. The more I've been decluttering, the more I'm realizing I need to tackle more of this paperwork. I did get rid of a bunch um, before, but it's just out of control how much paperwork. And I'm in my closet because that is where my paperwork is stored, by the way, <laughs> because we got rid of our filing cabinets in the office and I really don't need them except when I go do the mail and I put stuff away and do taxes, then I grab it all and take it out. Paperwork has been what I've been decluttering and dealing with. And I just, I'm so torn by it because I really, really feel like I need to keep it. I know you need to keep like 10 years worth or whatever if you're having an audit. Maybe it's seven years. I don't know. And I can request, mainly it's bank statements and things. Everything else I've gotten rid of. Like if there was any sort of legal matter, I've been keeping that. But I think those kind of things could go. Um, old properties we've owned. We've owned a lot of properties. And um, I think the paperwork for that, I've thinned that out to just like, you know, um, our settlement statements when you open and close the loans, things like that. I don't know what more I could need, but I didn't need all the paperwork that had to do with, you know, buying a new house and picking your colors and, you know, uh, blueprints and all those kinds of things. I just, there's no need for them. The houses have been sold. We only own this one property right now. So, I mean, that's all I need to keep right now, I think. Nothing's ever come up. So I'm a little bit, my heart is eased a little that nothing has ever come up after 20 something years of us being married, I've never needed it. Uh, we do have our own business, so I do need papers and files. So I just can't get rid of everything because I, I just have that fear and stress about an audit, you know, not having every single thing when something happens. So I've decided I was just gonna chuck it, first of all. I was just gonna get rid of all the years and I was gonna go, um, on the bank and request statements if I needed something. And I kind of feel like maybe that's what I should have done, but I'm now in the thick of it. Look at what I'm doing here. Right now, this is where paperwork is for current stuff that we have. And it's way thinned down. Uh, so each year when we do taxes, I grab all the stuff that comes out and um, put it with the taxes. Is that anything we needed? But bank statements are like this thick, you know, tons of stuff. Um, so like this right now is 2024 bank statements from Bank of America. Then I got Citibank. That's fine. I'm okay with that with the way that's thinned out. This is the old paperwork. And it ha was jam-packed. There was no more room to put this year's taxes in. That's why I uh, got into this. So this is what's going to be going to the shredder. I went online in the bank accounts to each of our banks. And I downloaded any available statements I could. Bank of America went, was pretty good. It went back about seven years, maybe. Citibank was only like a year and a half. So it was short. None of the credit card statements are on there. I mean, it's just a few months, you know, or maybe one year, not a lot. That's where all the records are. I mean, if I need to show proof of purchasing something or I, I need bank rep records and credit cards. Bank of America charges $5 per page, I think is what it was for old um, copies. You can get them, but that is going to be expensive. Or maybe it was five a month. I can't remember that you request. That would add up. And I've got them all right here. And I like to flip through paper when something happens. So I decided I'm just going to scan them, see what I can do to scan them. And, um, I've got a scanner right here, multifunction scanner, and it does have a paper feed and it'll scan. Uh, but it's taking me forever. Oh my gosh, it's taking me forever. So, but I think it's going to be worth it because my heart feels bur unburdened Every time a stack gets scanned, I put it in the computer and save it. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is burn it to a CD. I'm going to put all the years on a CD if I can each year and then save it in with my tax paperwork. So I'll just throw the CD in there. And then if anything happens, I'll also do a thumb drive and I'll put it in our fireproof safe. 
and I might save it on the cloud, like in our Dropbox. At least, um, we'll see how much space. I don't want to ever pay for an upgrade in Dropbox, but if I can save it, or maybe I could email it, like uh, compress it and email it to myself on Yahoo or something. Maybe I'll do something like that, where at least it's saved and I've got it somewhere in a cloud somewhere. That's what I've been up to for paperwork clutter. I feel a huge burden. Um, when I went to, well, a huge burden and a huge burden has been lifted each time. But I went to UPS and did an Amazon return and I saw they had a shredder box and it looked free. So I'm like, ooh. So I asked the guy, I said, is it just, can I just put shredded paper in there? And he said, no, you actually come up to the counter and it's $1.50, I think he said, a pound. And I was like, oh, okay. Because a whole box of shredding to, at one of those shredded stores, I think it was like five or 10 bucks a box um, for like a, a full box. So I'm going to measure it once I'm all done or weigh it and see which the cheapest. And I'm going to go take it all and drop it off somewhere and get it out of my hair. I'm not having it in the attic as a fire hazard. I'm not holding on to any more paper. If we have a fire and I lose all my documents and my CDs and whatever, I'll deal with it then. But for now, it's all going to be gone. And I feel so great about it because it really has been burdening me for the whole time since I started decluttering. Um, a year ago or whenever it was last year, two years ago, um, it just, uh, I just know it's there and I've gotten rid of a lot and it felt great to get rid of, but I want to get rid of all of it. And every year when I do my taxes, I can just log in to my bank and I'll just download my statements right there. They won't be gone. They'll be there and it'll be pretty. I'll just do it one time, save it. I'm done for each year. I don't have to even keep my statements. I could even go paperless if I really wanted to get I don't know if I can do that. I just feel like I need papers when, I, when I'm when i doing my taxes. I need to flip through them and highlight and do stuff. And I don't want to print them all out, but I guess I could. Or I could just do it on the computer. I guess I could go one year with paperless and just see what happens. I just feel like I'm going to forget something. I forget a tax form. Forget a, you know, something by not looking. Now that I've decluttered my inbox, maybe I will be better about all of that. I don't know, but it would be great. It would be really great to be paper free. I mean, really great. Here's a big burden. How far back do I go? Um, it's basically going to be back to 2015 is when I'm stopping because I, st I started, I stopped stapling my statements back then, apparently. So I would staple it each one week or each month when something would come in and that's too much to unstaple and they're getting stuck in the shredder or in the copier. Um, my bank of America statements the way they're folded are awful. Um, the way they're getting caught up in there. So I don't know how far back I'll go on my Bank of America, but I've got at least seven years because I think that's how far back I could go that was saved. So I might just cut it off at seven years. And if they're easy to scan, maybe I'll go all the way to the files that I have and just, you know, be anal and have everything and I feel better about it. But the ones that are too much work, I'll just pay the $5 if we have an audit and something happens before 2017. Seven years. Seven years is apparently what they must think you might need. So maybe it's not 10 years anymore. Maybe it's just seven. <sighs> How's your decluttering going? It's been quite a crazy journey, but I feel like this is my last giant burden that I've had is this paperwork. I've been decluttering the heck out of stuff, like stuff that was guilt stuff, like um, an old, I've shown it before, an old metal ice bucket that like my grandma Somehow I ended up with it and I don't want it. I don't want the stuff. And I have no memories or anything with some stuff that I have that maybe my mom gave me or something from, you know, it wasn't hers, but like from a grandma or something and nobody, she doesn't even know where it came from. I'm not keeping that stuff anymore. I have an old teddy bear that I don't want. My parents brought it. It was my teddy bear when I was a little kid. I have guilt. Like I need to keep that thing and I don't want it. I don't care about it. Do I keep it? I don't think so. My yearbooks, I saw other people said in the minimalism group, they're, um, they're taking a photo or scanning just the pages that they're in and they're getting rid of their yearbooks. I love that idea. I know Erica's got a yearbook for all the years that we went to high school together and she is a hoarder, more of a hoarder than me. And she'll hold on to them forever because she's very sentimental. So I could, if I had to go look at something, I could just call her and have her send me a picture of something or go over and look at it at her house. That's the way I'm looking at it. I think I'm getting rid of my yearbooks. 
Oh my gosh, how exciting is that? Okay, so how I'm doing it is I'm taking a flash drive, scanning it to the flash drive. Here's another stack. This is one whole year of credit cards going on that computer. I found a coupon for UPS and it's for buy one, get one free um, shredding. So probably by the pound, up to 10 pounds. I called a local place called Shred and Go and it's 50 cents a pound. If you get bulk, a large amount, it's more, cheaper than that even. I said, how long does that take to shred? Cause he said I could watch it. And I was like, I don't want to sit around and watch it. He said three minutes probably for just one case, oh, like a whole box of paper. So I'm going to watch it. I will see that nobody's digging through my stuff. My stuff is gonna be gone. I'm doing the 50 cent pound place and um, I'm gonna watch it. You guys, look at what I've decided to do. My staples, I can be as anal as I want and keep all my copies. I'm cutting off all the corners. <laughs> okay, so I realize I have a problem. I'm OCD, I guess, about this stuff, but I feel great. I'm gonna be able to keep all the records. And I think the reason I went back to 2012 was I must have been, I must have decluttered maybe in 2000. 22 and I kept 10 years. So I'm going to go back to 2014 and keep everything. That way I've got 10 years from now. And um, if I can hold myself back from just keeping all the way to 2012, which I might, but um, I'm feeling good about it. I'm done. Good job. Thanks. Very right now I'm burning job. it to a CD as we speak. All of that on one <sighs> CD. And I think there's more stuff in the attic, but for now I'm just going to go with what that is because. I did a good job before getting rid of everything and I hope I didn't just stick it all in the attic. I know I shredded forever and then I decluttered the shredder. If I did this you would. the first day, I would have been out and had to trash. Right. Oh. <laughs> but if I die, you have this now. It's my I don't gift know what to, to do you. with it though. That's the problem. If there was an audit, I think you'd just... Bring most, it on if most, there's an audit. I am people, so ready. You would be ready, but most people would be like, well, what do you mean if you get audited to... I, w I would just run away. I would not. You can't just run away. You I have to provide away. documents. No, I could run. You need I proof of and backup of all of your purchases and things. You would that you be claim. able to do it. I would literally go. I gotta go to the bathroom and hold it. <laughs> I would duck out. Good job. I'm done. Bro. I'm so excited. I'm happy for you. Thanks. I'm so happy for myself because she was it has not been in here fun ever. Oh, I've I'm been standing for two days <laughs> and just walking around and. Oh. I got. I would walk by and she'd be on her little computer and that thing would be running. I didn't plan for this to be my desk this over here, unreal. but... unreal. I know. Just unreal. It's so much. Man. Got it all in here. And there's room. This one's empty. And then I can continue to work on getting rid of the rest of the clutter. We just want to see, see it. Oh, man. Come out of there. Hey. <laughs> We're overflowing you. <laughs>